She keep asking when I'm taking her out I know a law got me when I step out the house Free my nigga J.O. Remember we was in route When I be quiet, they keep asking what I'm thinking about A lot of shit be on my mind, it be hard to let out But I can't let that paper stop coming in You only see me with my brothers, I ain't got no friends We made for this shit, soon we gon' count them in Too many cars, I don't know which one to drive in That bitch bad pussy wet, so I'ma dive in And I would never chase a bitch, no I'm not him And I won't change on my gang, no he locked in Be strategic with my moves, I know they watch I had a couple times with them niggas Show a fair lie, I mean, fool the skies to rhythm time Yeah, they only gon' ride when you wanna make your head low Just see them vibes from the beginning time Said they don't know the truth I'm tryna see who is who No, they won't care if you lose That's why I move how I move Man, yeah, 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 you know what that was, man Listen, man that was that who's who by Mac and Cheese, but right now you're now tuned into me 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 million dollars worth of game. Now, before the show started, man, it was a forty. It was it it was like a a forty battle, man. Gil and Jess, what they was doing is they were seeing who could drink a forty straight up. I'm talking about suds and all. It was it was like why is you lying? No, I'm just saying no forty, no forty. You just drunk a 40, though. Never. You, just, you, always, you always upstairs drinking ICFs, high school 40s. Never. I drink Amsterdam before I drink a 40. Oh, oh, that's heavy. good. Yeah. That's what that's I'm talking about. Because this episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game was brought to you, you by see the New Amsterdam yeah. Vodka. Yeah. You yes. hear me? Now, let me tell you something about New Amsterdam Vodka. Mm-hmm. It's the shit. It's outstanding, actually. It's uh, distilled five times. Mm-hmm. It's um, filtered um, three times mm-hmm. for a clean, crisp, I'm talking about smooth... Mm. finish you know you could drink it straight up you could drink it on the rocks Mm -hmm. you could drink it with juice Mm -hmm. soda or you can make a classic new amsterdam meal oh yeah i'm telling you this shit right here Mm. this this will get you going especially pre-game and playoff time okay you watching joel and bead and what's better than new amsterdam vodka for pre-gaming nothing Oh. So why would you, when you're out at your local liquor store, why would you not pick up New Amsterdam vodka? I'm just saying. Mm. So, this, a- so this is what we need to drink. Absolutely. Okay. This is what you drink every day. Absolutely. Well, uh-huh. I don't drink every day. I oh, drink okay. responsibly. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I, mean? okay. <laughs> I drink responsibly, but I do from time to time when I'm, you know, with a cocktail with my wife or something, I knew Amsterdam you vodka. Sip some Amsterdam. Absolutely. Okay. The official vodka bar of Sioux Sport and presenting sponsor of me and Osworth for game. Now, 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 Jess, right, as you can see, we have the one, the only, mm-hmm. the legendary, mm-hmm. the uh, remarkable, the memorable Jess, a.k.a. Jess with the mess, a.k.a. Jess Hilarious, a.k.a. Jess Baltimore, a.k.a. Day. Jess, right? All day. Now, question. How's your DM looking? Like, what's going on in your DM? Like, it's crazy. It's popping. It's been popping for years and, and shit. And, and look, I just learned something new. This new challenge that they got where they saying you go and look at all the top requests in your DM. I didn't know that it was like so many celebrities and athletes and all that shit. And what, what they Rappers do? and what, all what of they that. They, send you? they All kinds of shit. Mm. Jumping in my shim tumbo. 
dick pics, little dick pics. Damn, wait, hold on, wait, hold on, wait, wait, hold on. All types of shit. I'm like, damn, yeah. Wait, hold on. It's real crazy. So you mean this confident men out here that's sending baby dick pics? Oh yeah, for yeah. real. Because they think that damn, the money the overpowers. Yeah, hold, they like. Oh, you know, money is anything out here. If you got money, you the shit out right here. Ain't, that's not. I mean, no, that's no, never no, no, been no, 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 what wait, wait, I thought. Wait, wait, I understand. Wait, that's what people think. That's the perception. Let me just say something, right? Any nigga who know. You know, he on Stressing Street, because you know, <laughs> at the end of the day, you got to keep it real with yourself. Real shit. So if you drop your bridges and that motherfucker ain't adding up, mm -hmm. you know you're on Stressing Street. Real shit. So I don't give a fuck how much money you get. Mm -hmm. That's never going to change the fact that your dick don't add up. You know what I'm saying? And you know then they sure? doing, they you doing know, penal you, enlargements, but I don't really. You know, your dad didn't bless you. He stressed you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know I'm saying that shit is in your jeans. But did you ever entertain somebody like, that slid in that DM? You was like, nigga, I've been looking for you, and you and I. Was it ever a time? No, you never flew out. I had flown out. Yeah, I flew out because I was bored. Of course, who the fuck don't fly out when you know what I'm saying? See what oh. some shit is about. You don't answer everybody, but some some niggas you want to be like, okay, what the fuck is that with you? You know? So yeah, I've been flown out a few times and flew right back. <laughs> what you mean flew back? Back? Hold yeah. up. When you say flew right back, what, what is the, the whole thing of the fly back? How does I'm telling you, the internet allows people to build a perception of like a perfect picture. Like, you know what I'm saying? It, they want, they only show you, a lot of people show you what the fuck they want to show you to make it seem like, every, you know, the facade, the whole shit. Right. You know, then you get there and you're like, oh, damn, you shorter than you look on. And then it's like, okay, this is not even your house. This is you and, like, all 21 of your niggas' houses. Like, You'd nobody like, has bank I'm cards. It's, you don't even drive. That's not so. That wasn't your car on TV. <laughs> that was, you know, you get there and you be like, damn, you a regular nigga. You just sell records. Right. And then you, like, damn. and then you like, and besides that, I look past the BDP, the baby dick pic. I, mm -hmm. I look past that because mm -hmm. I, I saw your personality. Yeah. And then I get down here and you know who the fuck you say you are. Yeah, and sometimes I've even flown knowing that the niggas don't be who they say he is. But I just want to see, you really going to fly, but y'all really going to give me five stacks? You really going to buy me a bag? You really going to, all right, and then be like, damn, I got to go. What did go. they give you five stacks and buy you a bag for? Like, what was that just to... What Why do they do that? Niggas want to splurge. Niggas hey, want to splurge. You know, niggas, you know these what? niggas some talk that shit. Yeah. I'm going to give you some more. And some niggas will back it up. And all that old yeah. goofy ass shit. Yeah. Some and niggas some will... niggas you got to try their hand because you know mm -hmm. what you tell them. Cash at me first. Well, cash at me 2500 niggas. See, you, I ain't never tell a nigga cash at me. I ain't going to lie, yo. Nah, I ain't, never, I ain't never hit a nigga with that. I never did. I never did. Mm -mm. <laughs> well, you going to give me 5000 when I get there? All right, fuck it. Get, Cash at me twenty five. Cause I got my own money, you know Let what I'm saying. Know so I'm real. like shit. Just like my own paper. Uh, this yeah. like a, this like a performance. Like, give me give me half up front. <laughs> <laughs> a deposit. <laughs> no, not a deposit, yo. <laughs> yeah, let me make sure if you're a nigga. Yeah, see that flight too. I send you that first class flight. You know they send me the itinerary. I get down there, see what's up. Well, see, but you just can't go over. Let me just tell you, the, the smart. What camera is me? This is my camera right here. To all the smart women out there, right? Mm -hmm. Make sure y'all get that deposit. This shit's like rappers. Mm. Yeah, me. I can't. Get you, I can't get, get there until I get the pilot. Let me tell you something. You you go off a first class flight, the nigga be flying you off a motherfucking credit card of, mm -hmm. of motherfucking white woman in Nebraska <laughs> named Joanne motherfucking Suzowski. You don't even know you all on Joanne mm -hmm. shit in first class. You sit good. He done yeah. flew you to fucking <laughs> on a fake credit card. You about to get, get you fucking booked. So. You, you can't just go off the first class. Mm. You got to go off that first bit of cash. Mm, okay. Give me that down payment. Okay. Yeah, me, oh, Have you ever got somewhere, Jesse, and, and the back end wasn't right? They ain't had your back end ready? You fucking no. right. No. You always Never. had that money, huh? Damn, you always you've had been no. blessed. You've been yeah. blessed because a lot of chicks get there in the back end. Eh? Yeah, no, I, I do. I, they only get I in the have. back end. They don't get no back end. They just <laughs> yeah, get in the yeah, back. yeah, yeah. But they no. don't get no back end. They be like, damn, where the rest of that money at? Yeah, no, nah, it's never sure been. Got you. you mean that? No, nah, it's never been that like that. I, I'm telling you, real shit. No, nah, I, I ain't never got got by no motherfucking nigga. No, uh, that, that's beautiful either because, yeah. like, I've never got got by a nigga either, but I knew sometimes when... They ain't want to get yeah. that back end up, you know. You be playing a little bit, but for me, I. I but I'm saying, when, when, I'm saying, when niggas flew you out? Because we talking about niggas. No, we talking about, was, no, we talk about you shows. Know yeah, you yeah, know, like, you just said niggas. Did you ever do no, shows? You said you never got got by a nigga, meaning like a nigga flew you out, but he ain't never. He ain't never get you. No, I thought you was talking about shows. I thought you was talking about shows. That's why I was like, no, that's why I was like, she blessed you. Oh, you mean like the back end on the show? Yeah, that's what I was talking about. No, but you know, you. But yeah, I thought we was because we was talking about getting flown out. 
have flew you out, Gil. Let me fly you out. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, but then, of course, she not. I'm just she, saying. Listen, listen, she she not, she, the she, time, listen the nigga going to be excited because she just, so a nigga don't want that on his name, so he mm. gonna, of course he going to pass that off. Yeah. Soon she get there. She like, this nigga now, if she was motherfucking Shanique with the fat ass from down north, <laughs> he might have told her he going to give her 5000 She get there, he give a little 13000 <laughs> 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 Oh, yeah, but, but he don't want to be part of Jess as the best, the, you know. Jess gonna go right on there and right. expose a nigga. You know? Yeah, I'm saying I she gonna that. go right on there. You know what I'm saying? Niggas so you know what's know. so f- funny about y'all too? Y'all got y'all like uh, Bobby and uh, Whitney. We <laughs> got something in common. Y'all both y'all both been canceled. So what the fuck yeah. is that about? Like y'all what was canceled. Mo- you know y'all both been canceled by the can. I don't, mm-hmm. who, who is the can? I don't even know who the fuck the cancel coach is. This some invisible. Oh. But I yeah. know both of y'all been canceled several times. Absolutely. And y'all still here. So I'm trying to happen. Like when did y'all get cut back on? You know how they cancel your yeah. kid on some shit, <laughs> right? How did y'all get cut when back on? When did we like like when did we get off of probation? Basically, yeah. I honestly. I don't know, I, and I'm telling you, I'm one of the first bitches who was ever like canceled and shit. So, what they cancel you but for? Man, the first time. Don't say it. <laughs> if you can't say it, don't right, say it. Right. All right. So they might the, cancel you again. Right. You know, again. again. Right. And then who knows? My shit might be off. Internet might be off. Ever. Um. Yeah. So I got canceled. This this uh, gay nigga had called me a tranny, right? And I called him a yeah, one of them, the Fs. Oh yeah, you can't do that. Yeah. I can I I can do that. You don't fucking call me no fucking tranny. They like, oh, you gotta be gay to say it. All right, well, let me kiss a bitch. All right, now you like, no, don't do that. You don't. How you how you supposed to? So you had to kiss a girl to say that. that no, they that told word? me I had to be gay in order to okay. use that. So I was like, okay. all right, I don't know if I can eat somebody pussy real quick and I'm gay and I can call you that. Like, nah, fuck that. Nah, you you called me a tranny, right? Voice deep, all that talk like a nigga. I'm like that. Whatever, you know. And you throw a homophobic, a homophobic slur at me, but I can't throw one back at you because you just happen to be gay. What? I, what? What does that even mean? If y'all don't like being called that shit, don't call that shit out to nobody else. Just like with nigga, you feel me? We don't like, you know, like white people, white niggas that grow up in the hood and shit. They feel like they can say it around their black friends. Don't say it to me, but I'm not going to say it to you neither to make you feel comfortable enough to say it back. Because if you can't say it to me, I'm not going to say it to you. So I'm just like, that, that fucked me up for real. And then when they, they was like, you got to apologize. Agents and shit, come on, apologize. They ain't even like the way I apologize to the LGBT community because I was like, look, I apologize if I offended any of y'all who are my fans, but y'all got to tighten that shit up. You know what I mean? Don't be out here saying anything to straight niggas and then as soon as a straight nigga attack you, you know what I'm saying? Then you you like, no, you can't say that to me. Like, what? So, that was crazy. That was the first time I got canceled. Yeah. Then the second time. Yo, when did you get canceled? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. You gonna make niggas like, not like me again? They're like, oh, oh, you did that? Oh. Yeah. No, I don't. <laughs> when did I get canceled? I don't, I don't know. know. You always say some crazy shit. I, yes, you do. But you know what? For <laughs> men. Oh no 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 that no. shit is different. No no no. Men. No, this was look, what happened was I remember this shit. What happened was back in twenty. I want to say 14 or something. I said, man, black lives, black lives, black lives matter ain't going to matter to a start mattering to black people. And then they tried to resurface a video from 2014 and mm-hmm. put it out. And I think it was like 2020, maybe like, I was saying this today in today's climate. And yeah, they tried to do that to me. And then they said I was canceled. I forgot. They said I was canceled, right? Um, mm-hmm. Behind I, the Black Lives Matter like, thing? I was like canceled. Like, mm-hmm. the f- like I grew up down Airy Avenue, North Philadelphia, <laughs> six motherfuckers in a two-bedroom apartment, hot as shit. And if you count the motherfucking Mickeys in there, it was like 13 Mickey of Mike's us in there. Yeah, mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, y'all talk about y'all going to cancel me. I... Beat the fucking odds, y'all gonna cancel me. So I was like, uh, okay, cool. I guess I'm canceled. And right. then I woke up the next day and was like, bitches, I'm still here. The right. fuck is y'all talking about? <laughs> y'all didn't cancel me. Only fucking guy could cancel me. Yeah. The fuck are y'all talking mm-hmm. about? I forgot about that. Yeah, I did that. So, yeah. Yeah, I guess I was canceled for like, Two and a half hours or some shit. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. It's like everybody get mad at you, but I, you know, you find what today, like, the internet, if if you don't talk about it, you don't give it no fuel. That should go away real fast. I mean, I just yeah, think, it's I like just whatever. think it's, I just think in your case, as as 
just as people, we got to be mindful of what we say to people. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, you know, I can't, I can't, I can't be, I can't be, I can't get mad and call a white person a cracker and then get mad if he called me a nigga. But you can get mad and call him a cracker if he called you a nigga first. Uh, no, right. I mean, I'm just yeah. saying, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm speaking on. As I can't get mad at a white person and say, man, you fucking cracker. And then he yeah. say, fuck you, nigga. And then I'm like, oh, you called me a nigga? Like, right, right. Like, every action calls for a reaction. Right. You feel what I'm saying? So people got to just be mindful of mm -hmm. what they say because at the end of the day, whether you are the LGB, we, we respect every community Absolutely. out here. You feel what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you can't, no matter what community you're a part of, mm -hmm. you got to you gotta be a decent human being first. Yeah. And you can't say some shit that's, because people say some shit that they really don't mean mm -hmm. just because they trying to hurt you to fuck back. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Shit, two didn't call me a bitch ass nigga plenty of times. I knew she though I ain't no bitch ass nigga though. Right, right. I like I liked it. I caught it a couple times. Stop fucking playing like me, pussy, before I beat you the fuck <laughs> up. You, bitch ass, you was a bitch ass nigga. You yeah. acting like a bitch. I was like, Whoa. I mean, I mean, I, <laughs> I love seen, this shit. Uh, right. I mean, I done Damn. seen I done seen April slap you on your ass a bunch of times on a walk by. Yes, I did. That don't mean you like it. Do you like it? Tootie slapped you on your ass in the restaurant. That's you want to try to put that on me. You put that on me. You put that smile on me. I done see and you done walk past a bunch of times that April tapped that ass. Yeah, baby. Fuck out of here. Keep it moving. Don't check her nothing. I'm like, wait, she just. You lying like a little rug, man. You lying like a little rug, motherfucker. I don't play that. Listen, I run my motherfucking house. Tootie called you a bitch ass nigga one time. She did. And I was laying on the couch. That's when I was couch. Because let me tell you something. I first came home. Because at the end of the day, she thought. That she had the mental over me. She said, See this shit. Bitch. I said, damn, See, I love shit, it. This should be mental. <laughs> okay. After twenty plus years, it's all mental. Right. I'm That's smart a hell enough. Of an excuse. I'm smart enough <laughs> to know that she know I'm not no bitch ass nigga. She done right. seen me in action. So <laughs> at the end of the day, <laughs> that was it was like, what are you talking about? Because like, I didn't even know Tootie like, talked like that. And at the time, I was occupying a. I was uh, tell the truth. You didn't know Tootie had a little, little, little fuck no, little HR. Oh, you right know, because I'm straight out the joint. So little I'm, hood rat. So, right. so, so, right. so I was occupying. I was occupying this couch. Okay. I was down there just you know giving this couch some attention, and I'm, I'm laying back hey, chilling. Because I used to say shit to them and Tootie, and, I, and they thought that I was out of place. But they did like tell me was I wrong? Just okay. tell me was I wrong? Okay. So <laughs> occasionally I'd be over their crib, and when I could be over their crib, I just take you know i put my presence around their couch area i like that they couch so i think i think sister called me one time she's like he got his foot all on the tape and she, ain't, she ain't never let nobody do that because right. tootie tootie has some sympathy for me because tootie like wow he just came home you know he a little mm -hmm. been so i had to check them one time because one time i'm taking me a little nap mm -hmm. i'm like yo yo they up there i'm like yo i'm down here sleeping and I'm like, what the fuck? Like, and this is this is why I felt as though that I was in the right. And tell me if I'm wrong. Okay. I understand it's y'all crib, y'all got y'all bills and all, but it's somebody sleeping right now. And I'm like, yo, what the f they up there arguing and shit. And I'm like, yo, and Gil gonna come down and tell me some cuz. Like, well, how the fuck you gonna check me? I'm just saying I'm sleeping. You gotta respect sleep. That was the first time what? I put him the fuck out. Yeah, though. yeah. Fast. Get the lie. fuck out. You gotta me. respect the motherfucking really sleep. Get out. Not in my shit. Right. Like so, I can't fuss until you wake the fuck up. Right. Basically, no, it like, wasn't that. It was just the fact that, like, if y'all sleep, I ain't gonna say nothing. Right? I'm gonna tippy toe around the see, joint. See, because that's crack you. The me, open. Because let me tell you something. You still operating off silly fucking rules. Yeah. When I'm sleep, yeah. dog, don't be waking He's me the fuck up. You still <laughs> silly. Head. I'm scared to death. I'm gonna tippy toe around that motherfucker. I ain't going shit. Right. I ain't going. I'm, no, I'm just, just gonna be just, bubbling just the whole respect. time. You like, sleep, no. Respect. It's a human. It's a human. It's no. That, see, Human respect, when you sleep, in, when you sleep okay. in that cell, that little ass cell, this is for all the youth out there. Mm. When you sleep in that little ass cell for mm. 20 years, did you see his fucking mind? I'm going to say this, though. I'm going to say this, though. You're the only to be, reason. To be too no, jail, right. But you got to understand where I'm coming from. The only reason. Don't go only, to jail, young niggas. The only reason that was a I message came and up a message. with that and I came to that conclusion because I was laying there. Tootie went to the, she came from the, the kitchen grabbing something out the refrigerator. And she's like, oh, she was like, oh, Wallow sleep. So when she went back upstairs, I'm like, well, why is y'all arguing if you know I was asleep? Like, she wanted, <laughs> she wanted oh, you to get the fuck out. After I knew I was asleep? <laughs> she wanted you to get oh, the fuck shit. out. I'm like, yeah. what the fuck? She ain't like, operating off silly so rules. So look, so you don't like, all right, so you, you, your rule is to always respect somebody's sleep. Yeah, yeah. So if I came in this bitch 
earlier. You know what I'm saying? And because I know I said I was gonna be here at twelve, but mm. you know what I'm saying? You was late. Yeah, I was, yeah all right. black people time. Black right. people time. All right, it was traffic. It was crazy. Look, yeah. so um, coming from Baltimore at eleven <laughs> in the afternoon, it was fucking traffic. Yeah. Fuck you know, I know that route. I know all the routes. <laughs> right. She thought we should get that off for us. All the routes. Hey, she yo. thought she could get that off for us. It was crazy. It was traffic. Hella accidents. Wow, shit was everywhere. Police was smacking people. Yo, what if I came down this bitch and I decided to take a nap? You will wait for me to wake up so we can do the podcast? Fuck no. He had been up there bitching. No, no, no. Listen, listen. Not under, you. Under, no, he had been up there bitching. Under, 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 under environmental circumstances, oh, based off okay. of oh. I'm respecting the environment. Oh, she said, oh, yeah, I, I can wait. I ain't going to no, do no, it. Let me tell you something. I'm now, I'm going to tell no y'all I'm gonna tell y'all the true wallow <laughs> behind closed doors. Okay. She came the fuck down here to go to sleep. I, I, I already know. Hey. Cause we get a fuck. She on them perks. <laughs> <laughs> no, she, I will say this. She, he do. He she, do. I do be putting people. Fucking, she on the fucking perks. I do be putting people like, on certain drugs. She, she I ain't supposed gonna to come down here to do an interview. She's supposed to come down here to do an interview. She went came down here and went to sleep. <laughs> it's she just on the fucking perks. Just on them perks. It's just he that had, I know. He had been saying that for his whole life. Just, just on them perks. Cause just was on them perks. Not on no perks. She came down and went to sleep. <laughs> All to say she has some good Reggie, like she has some good Reggie. No, like, no, no. You'd have been like she on them perks. Yeah, All the people that do that, whole, just, you just, just put them on perks. Listen, just, like, just the type of motherfucker. She, she going. She still get like like she 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 still getting the mixed drinks and all that with the little four oh, you know them forties and the no the fuck ones. I don't I don't know who the fuck even told you I drink beer yo <laughs> little boo boo from now East Baltimore I nobody you, you know little boo boo you was sliding with a minute that's another story but you know whole, what's crazy what? I actually used to talk to a nigga named Boo Boo in East Baltimore <laughs> <laughs> and live off Federal Street I know hey, shit. I keep telling you, I do my research. That's why I see that in here. Little Boo Boo. Up, yo, Boo Boo nah. had a, listen, Boo Boo had you, a spark. She missed some up. shows and everything. Her eyes was like, Boo Boo. Boo Boo had a fuck. I'm listen. like, what? She don't know if you playing listen, around. Boo Boo, Boo, Boo had a miss some shows listen, and everything. But listen, yo. you said, Little Boo Boo eats Baltimore. Oh she was like, what the fuck? They did roll call. I remember like, yo, first of all, April, don't be telling my motherfucking <laughs> business, yo. What the fuck, though? No, why the fuck he know about no, Boo Boo, yo? See, I'll be told around it. What happened is, this what happened. One time they do roll call on Wild and Out. Damn, damn. And Chico was like, no, she down in Baltimore, man. She was supposed to be at road car at the Wild and Out. She down there posted up on the block with Lil Boo Boo. He lying now. <laughs> now, he, now he going too far and shit. Now I know he don't know who, who he is and Now shit. you know he don't know who yeah, Jack Kim is. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, Jess, What's that? you're single. Yes. All right, so if a dude got a poppy shot, tell him how to poppy shit right now. You just gotta be fucking real honest. You yes, you have to have money. Yes, mm. you have to match my yeah. shit. You mm. know what I'm saying? Like, mm. if you ain't getting more money than me, at least match my shit, cause mm. I'm getting some money. Mm. And you know what I'm saying? And after some jewels being dropped today, I'ma get some more. So, I need you to have your money right. Respect the hood, bitch. Please well, respect it. Well, you say your it. money right? How much? Like, how much money can? They, what what type of job can they can they be like? Do they gotta be like on a, on a register at Walmart or Atari? Ooh. Can they be? Can they can they be the manager? Can they be the general manager? No. Well, I'm just saying, why are you discriminating no. against it? Like, ho, ho, you mean to tell me that Mike Mike can't be, or Boo Boo can't be working? Like, damn, I'm chilling. I ain't in the streets no more. I just came home. I did a bit. Mm -hmm. I'm over here. I'm stocking the clerks at Target. Mm -hmm. I moved up. I'm the manager mm -hmm. now. I got me a little clean car. Mm -hmm. I still got my, my jail workout on, mm -hmm. so I'm looking good. Yeah. Got my nice line fade up. Okay. Can't, he, ain't get a, he can't get a shot? I mean... I, I wouldn't know where I would meet him. First of all, it gotta be you gotta run anywhere. His, you might be in the nah, gym. No, because he always there. He a general manager. He always at work. I don't. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, I would but never meet him. You might be in Target get some towels. You know how you like to go there and get towels. But they be mostly in the office. I'm gonna be in the aisles looking for the shit I need. I ain't gonna ever run into y'all. So. But what if he do walk through and see you in the aisle? Like, yo, what's up? Nigga, most of the time, niggas the nigga like that be married. Got a chance, so. man. <laughs> like, dude, this nigga's retarded, man. Nigga just came home from jail though. No, Sorry, I'm saying, no, like, no, no. He got the vest going. He got the vest. But most of the time, the niggas be married. Basically, yeah. She basically yeah. said, no, nah, nigga ain't got a chance without saying a nigga ain't got a chance. He nah, keeps saying, I'm just, well, what if, what if he come to say it? I'm trying to give him what a shot. What if he come through the cereal no, world? No, but I'm saying, when, yeah. when, I ain't going to see him. But he not, because he abandons him. What if he catch you over by the grilled beef? <laughs> I, I don't eat grilled beef, dog. I, I'm a vegan. What, <laughs> what if he catch you? <laughs> Fuck. Stop, stop that, man. Fuck is you doing, man? I'm just asking. Like, Yo, so 
Like, what if he get you <laughs> over <laughs> by the ground beef? <laughs> he make hamburgers and shit. Meat. You know what I mean? She got to make a spaghetti and meatballs. This motherfucker's yeah, crazy, man. You know, man. You know what I mean? She like the meat little platter. But so I'm she, saying I like Instacart, so I don't be in the markets. See, no, see and, damn. And, 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 and I'm, I'm not what if making, a boy delivers your shit to Chris? Hold on. Let me put this disclaimer out there. Let me put this disclaimer out there. I'm not making fun of anybody who has any type of illness or any of that. I'm just making fun of this idiot. You know, oh, I don't right. want to well, be what canceled I'm is, again. What you if know, the boy I mean. come to a door? He husky as shit. He just came home. He got. He not going. He knocking on your door aggressive. Okay, okay. So you already know. You're like, who this motherfucker knocking on my? Right. Then you go. He did. He got the line up. He got the mm-hmm. wave cap. He, he got, you can't see the line up because he got the wave cap with the right. fitted on the New York tip. Yeah. Like Jay Z used to have with the joint tilted. Right. Cock. Is you mm. gonna give him up? Do he get a shot? Like he got your bags, he handles. Why, you know, keep why is you he these doing niggas? all this in 2021? Well, right. He's still, yo, right. he's stuck before he's jail. Stuck it. Yes, he, is. he was like with the you ain't cat with the right. head cock. Like a nigga bet not come to my fucking door with no cock head. Looking like so fucking holes in '97. <laughs> what the fuck are you? So, so she said she don't fuck with niggas that wear. Do we got the rock and wear jeans set on too? <laughs> yeah. What the That's fuck next. are you in here talking? Why he keep giving you? No, step him up the time. This nigga, he in the league. He got the big sneaks. Okay. He got a st- style with him. Mm-hmm. You know, he might be a player from the Himalaya, old school shit. Okay. You know, but in his 10th year, he ready to settle down. He tired of the bullshit. He really like you. Mm-hmm. And he's showing you he like you. Mm-hmm. What else? Because nah. I mean, he's showing you he like you. I mean, he I He met look, you yo, already money-wise. He's showing you he like you. But I, so y'all need let me finish. It ain't even all about the money because I don't really, I'm saying, say, what if he get money but he a fucking clown? It's all I, types of- I'm telling of, you, I'm saying. It's, it's different shit, you know what I'm saying? And I know ain't no perfect nigga. You know, you got to deal with something that nigga going to lack something. You know, you can't, if you could build your perfect- God and you know, of course, why wouldn't we? But we can't. Everybody. She said he ain't okay, got so, no money. So, so no, 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 no. So what's See, what's what's absolutely he... clown shit to you? Yeah, what's clown shit to that do? That just threw mm. you See, off. Men that just threw you off. off. That you like? Nope. I, he he's a clown. He done did some clown shit. I got to put him. I over don't here. like. I don't like when niggas comment like on female shit. Like for instance, like I and you may have a preference, but don't be talking about like. Oh, I don't like I like like commenting on a bitch wig and shit like that. Like, oh no, shorty late showing. I don't want to fuck with her. Like, okay. but you got Beijing beard like oh, up Lord. past your nose and oh, shit. Lord. I don't like that. It's way too many niggas do that. Like, well, first of all, let me just tell you something. It's twenty twenty one. If you do the Beijing, shit, sw- shit, sweating down your face when it get hot in the summertime. That's what I'm saying. You talking to a bitch, your beard disappears. And, yep, and that's when niggas really niggas, be out. You do the Beijing niggas in twenty twenty one. Hairline cooking at the cookout. I'm, I'm just telling you, listen, babe. I'm just use the CMF. What that is? Corny motherfucker. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna tell you. Yeah. I can't get it. There ain't no other way to get around that. I if can. you get your fucking headline mm-hmm. in your fucking beard mm-hmm. painted, I don't give a fuck how fly you think you mm-hmm. is. I don't give a fuck if you got an eight thousand mm-hmm. dollar fucking Gucci outfit flown mm-hmm. in from Yomahaki, Japan, nigga. Yeah. And it's a one of they don't one. make Gucci in Japan. I don't give a fuck. I'm just I making mean, a study. You don't know where they make Gucci. You, you never told had a Gucci me about shirt your fucking connect. Right. So I don't know. Do you, you get do your that? shit from right. The jeweler, <laughs> right? No, she knew about my. She know Abdullah. Listen, I don't the give a fuck, fuck if don't. you got the That's how we got it. Abdullah hit up. I don't give a fuck if you ride <laughs> private jets. I don't give a fuck if you're worth 140 mm. billion. Mm. If you get Beijing in your fucking head, you a corny motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't like it. I, I will like say it. this: as you talking about, you know, the world. Um, one thing about Blockfolio, Blockfolio is the world's most popular mobile app for cryptocurrency trading and tracking. Build your portfolio and follow the price of more than 10,000 coins. Get phone notification updates directly from the projects you care about. Buy, sell Bitcoin, Ethereum, Deutschcoin, and other top tokens with absolutely zero fees. And get a free coin with every trade over $10. Visit the App Store and download Blockfolio for free today. Blockfolio, listen, man, investing for the crypto generation. What you got to do is, I'm talking about everybody's out there. Everybody's talking about, oh, I'm I'm in the crypto, this and the third. Well, if you're in the crypto and you don't got Blockfolio on your phone, like, I don't know what you got going on. Like, what type of, what you want? Like, like on some real stuff, like, what you want, man? Like, I got to really check you about this. You tell me you're a crypto. Like, yo, man, check yourself, man. Really check yourself before you wreck yourself. You know what I'm saying? 
Who said that? Ice Cube. Oh, yeah, that was Ice Cube song back in the day. See, I know the hip-hop classic. <laughs> See, I'm a hip-hop historian. But listen, right. if you out there, you doing crypto, man, you got to have Blockfolio. <laughs> Once again, the world's, I'm talking about, most popular mobile app for cryptocurrency tracking and trading. Get with Blockfolio. One thing, one time is it again. It got more. I'm talking about more. 10,000 coins on there. I'm talking about you get phone notification directly from the projects that you care about. Blockfolio, what are you waiting for? Go in the app store and download it right now. But uh, one thing about you, Jess, I understand you out here doing your thing. You're making a lot of paper. You, you're making it happen. And you said that a dude don't have to have paper. So I got to get back to that. You, you, I did not say a nigga did not have she no said paper. The nigga got to match her nigga. lease, man. I drank beer, I like broke niggas. Who the <laughs> I fuck do you that. think I am? I never, yo? Said, I never said that. She sister. did. She said she drank 40s and she fucked with blue. Yeah, blue. and I fucked no, no, yeah. no, no. I didn't say she drank them like that, but y'all was having to drink off upstairs. And I like broke niggas. No, we, I'm still waiting for my motherfucking Henny. <laughs> no, it's, no, don't worry about it. I got you. Don't worry about it. I got, right. it. I got the connect. He, my man. I got somebody that do bootleg everything, bootleg Henny jewelry. <laughs> Pocketbooks, all that shit. <laughs> so the Henny might not be the color that you think it is, but it's a hookup. But but what I'm going to say is this. Like at the end of the day, Jess, it's like this. Who who out there, you, like if you had to say something to somebody out there, who who you would say something to on an aspect of like somebody you might be feeling that you see social media or whatever that you probably bumped into a couple times that, go ahead, say something to him. What you would tell him right now? You ain't got to say his name, but 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 he got a hint that you, that you, you checking him out. You know what I mean? You feeling him. You know, talk to him. You know, right there. Say something to him. What if there's nobody on Instagram that I'm really looking at and shit? Because everybody, like, I don't really be looking at niggas on Instagram. Well, the dude that ain't off Instagram, the boy that, <laughs> boy that, that be detailing your car. See, Yo. she, she gonna run into a regular boy, I'm telling you. Yo. She gonna run Yo. into Because it's like, why everybody be on Instagram beating up the everyday guy? Like the, every It's not. Listen, listen. Okay, so look. Right now, like, I'm involved with a nigga that he works down, like, Shock Charm. He work in the hospital. Oh, he next you know what level. I mean? Yeah. But, th you know? but the key is, is he shock trauma in that ass? <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. Yes, he is. That's why she working with. He absolutely with. is. He's a legend. Yeah. This dude's a legend. So you know he, what I mean? he got a real all-American job. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, so go ahead. Now. I'm Let's liking that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's cool. That, that's. I mean, I'm still single. You know what I'm saying? We ain't put nothing on it. But, you know, we dating this shit. That's cool. I like that. Got his own money, got his own shit, got his own, yeah, he ain't worrying about none of my shit, mm -hmm. ain't asking for none of my shit, ain't depending on none of my shit, nothing, right. you know what I mean? And I ain't doing the same for him. I'm not doing the same with him, I'm not asking for nothing, but I'm getting everything, like, that, you know, he do shit for me, you know, fly me here, and, you know, all types of shit. I get I get pampered, all that type of shit, all types of ways. That's so why cool, you that's what I'm liking right now. Yet? I'm... I will later when I get there. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you got to be ready so to long? do certain shit. So how long y'all been dealing with each other? Five months. Oh, oh that's a way. So, that's a relate. That's see, a bit. let me just tell you something. That's, I'm just, a county, that's not a his name? bit. Yo, 20 What's years is a bit. You want to tell his name? Five years. You want to say, we're going to call him Shock Trauma. We're going to call him Shock. Well, listen, Shocky. Shocky. Big Shocky. Let me tell you something, Big Shocky. Let me tell you something, Big Shocky. Okay. Give him some game. I'm about to give Big Shocky some game. Big Shocky. Big Shocky. Okay. You ain't really doing what you're supposed to be doing, player. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you. Let me just tell you something. Give him the game. Because Lay it on him. when you hit the bottom of that motherfucker, you hear me? And you take her fucking soul, you fuck the leather off her jacket, she ain't waiting no motherfucker five months. She bringing you the fuck in fast. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to give you this game, Shocky. Big shock. You ain't shocking the bottom of her motherfucking oven. That's what you ain't. Y'all don't know what you gotta do if you gotta. You, you one of them niggas get in and you just straightforward. You just. What? Look. So look. It don't even look, matter. You gotta go skiing, nigga. That that ain't every look. Ah. That's not all. Ah. I know it's not. All. I know y'all gonna say that. Ah. It's not ah. what you mean. Look, I'm telling ah. you. I'm telling you, it's not all about. Shock me, give you that shock treatment. No, it's, he don't. I'm don't tell, you, let me tell you. She something. mentioned his name. Let me ask, let me just tell you something. Only big let me just ask you. Let me just ask you a question. How long did it take for April to make it official with you? To look you and be like, no, nigga, you mind now. Like real shit. When we was down Disney World. Oh, so that was like two how days, long? huh? Oh, that wasn't that long. That was like a fucking week. Fucking a week. Right. I wasn't playing. You know why? All right, that's nice. 
Do I got to tell you why? Because I laid it down and sprayed it down. fucking loosely. And I was on Philadelphia Slim Town. That Philly shit is different. You fuck know the Baltimore. Fuck is wrong with you. Ain't you ain't going to tell me Big Shocky <laughs> been, 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 been eating yeah. her ass out till she pass out. Motherfucker laying her down and spraying her down. She five months in top of hey, we're, we're still just friends, Shock. <laughs> Yeah, shock might not be no shock, he, we're still in the friend zone. He done Listen. flew with the fuck out. He done did all this extravagant shit, and he's still just a no, friend. No, did, did, now, no, right now, this segment of the show is uh, Storage from the Cell is brought to you by Roman Swipes. One thing about Roman Swipes, Shocky, obviously you need help. So right now <laughs> I'm going to help you. For all you guys out there that's not able to make it to the fourth quarter because you're a halftime man, once the halftime game, everybody's leaving the arena, you are too. Uh, because <laughs> there's nobody to watch because you left. Now, if you want to be an o, a, a OT, an OT warrior, where you take the game into OT, overtime and you're dancing in the end zone, what you need is Roman swipes. You take it on, you wipe it, you let it well, dry, and you make her fly. This easy. Look at it. One thing about Roman is the, swipes. Is this easy? Yes, look, yes. Just pull it out. Look, you, you lace your piece up. Oh, whip, whip. Wipe it. Whip. <laughs> what? You, you, let gotta, it dry? You, I, you know, I did the under joint. You know, who whip did the top layer? Whip sides. Whip, whip, whip. Wash wax. Whip, whip, whip. whip. <laughs> Telling you. And Mother's then, Day. And it does what? No, take them back to shock. Mother's Day. What the, the fuck best is one, the best one, best Take them yeah, to shock. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm telling you, and, next and time and we call, talk to you, you gonna be like, oh, we married. We get y'all coming to my wedding. It's clinically proven. I'm clinically telling you. proven. I'm telling so, you, this shit is top notch. And what y'all yeah, need to this do shit is y'all need to go to GetRoman.com, use the code slash game, and for your first month of okay. wife, you get for $5 when you choose a monthly plan. Roman Swipes, I'm telling you, they're changing life, they're changing mm-hmm. relationships. They making women that don't want to give you a mm-hmm. title, give you a title like that. Come and keep it all the way real. I turn Mother's Day into Father's Day. Oh, okay. Oh, Lord. Pull that ass up. <laughs> yes, yes. Don't, <laughs> yes, that's what they like. Look at it. She's back. Yeah, go ahead, take them. Put them in your pocket. But I'm telling you, I'm telling <laughs> yeah. you, you're going to call and be like, please, can I get some more of them? Because if gonna... Shaggy don't use them, somebody else will. Oh, oh that's another story. But, but let's, let's talk. Let's, let's go Big into boo boo. Let's go into a very. <laughs> From the West Side. First of all, no. <laughs> Oh, let, me ask you, let me ask you a question. Wait, finish we'll be, that. Finish that. As, as, Where do you get them from? Said, Roman Swipes, what we'll, we'll be ready to go into right now is Stories from the Cell. This segment of Stories from the Cell is uh, brought to you by Roman Swipes. Now, I go on a visit, right? One thing about me, I'm a survivalist. Some people will mix, you know, in the streets we say, oh, dad, he be bitching. He, he was scared to death. Oh, he was this. This and that third. You got scared to death bitching and you got survivalists. I'm a survivalist. I'm on a visit. My brother come to visit me. I go out there, do my one-two, jump on. But a lot of times my brother come to me, I'm always scoping the, the visitor room, looking at, you know, dudes, chicks, sisters, whatever. I, I'm going to be honest with you. You be like, damn, especially somebody you don't know. Mm. So I go down there and get my tuna hoagie because I had the whole layup, my tuna hoagie, my little pretzels and shit. Mm. Shit, I used to get out the ginger ale out the machine. My brother had all had a car waiting because he gave me a car. They, they are, come on, I'm man. just saying, I'm just reminiscing. You know what I mm. mean? So I go down, sit down, I'm chilling. So when I'm sitting down, like right here, me and my brother chill. I'm like, yo, you see her? Damn, she bad. I knew it was dude's sister because, you know, his mom was there and it wasn't, he wasn't mad. Because they looked alike in the face, nigga. Whatever, whatever the case may be. So the whole <laughs> visit, the whole visit, I'm sizing up, right? Mm-hmm. I'm sizing up this down the third, boom, boom, boom. I'm sizing up all crazy this then. So after, you know, after the visit, I don't pay no attention about it. I just leave. I'm like, damn, she was bad as shit. Mm. I tell her one more, damn, you know the boom, what's the name block on C block? Man, you, that, that worked down in the his system. Woo! So I'm walking down the hallway one day, ready to go to the law library. So I see the board, but it's like, I'm saying to myself, is he looking at me or is he looking at somebody else? Because I see him coming my way, and the expression on his face wasn't welcoming. It was like, mm. you know, I know I'm in jail and it's a place where you got to be tough, but I'm like, this shit was a little different than the average tough look. So he's, I'm like, so, you know, I'd have been in situations before where I thought somebody was looking at me and they wasn't, so it might be that situation mm. again. So I'm in there, you know what I mean? I ain't even going front. He's looking at me. I look away like, like, because I looked like two, three times. See, he was looking, coming his way. I'm looking at the, you know, the wall or some shit so like So it's this. safe to say you was BRR. What? Bitching B- at a rapper rate. Yes. Uh, yes. Oh, right. my so, God. So, but I wasn't. I was being a survivalist. It's about survival. <laughs> right. So as I'm walking down the hallway, you know, a lot of times they had little memos on the joint stamped about what's going on in jail, the gym. He screamed this for spot, the car. This spot, it wasn't no fucking, it was just the wall. So I'm looking like. Like I'm daydreaming. I'm like, damn, yeah, because I was talking. I'm like, you was because because now now I'm thinking about this shit. I go back to the block and retreat, 
Cause ain't nobody gonna know that it's right now. This this is a this is a right. this is a motherfucking a retreat moment. Get out of there! This yeah. motherfucker slid up on me, man. I, Cause it's like soon as I look to go somewhere else, he slid up on me like, "Yo, my man, let me holler at you for a minute." Mm. When he hit you, one of these, one of these, this, this wasn't no. <laughs> damn. Like, Yo, my man, let me ah. holler at you for a minute. I said, "Damn, what's up, family?" At the moment, I'm trying to I'm trying to understand what he was. I don't know what he was because whatever he was, I'd have gave him the proper group. right. You Muslim, was bitch Muslim Christian brother. <laughs> But I'm like, but the whole thing when he hit me with the joint, I mean, oh, you ain't gonna stop hitting I'm me. Right, 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 right. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? That's how he hit me. So when he did that, like me, I immediately was STD. No, no, I knew it was danger because that was a different type of joint. That was a bruise type joint. You was STD. And the motherfucker worked out. So I'm like, mm. I'm trying to make sure that I don't but be a part of the workout. Let's You was STD. No, I was being a survivalist. Back to that. No, so, he was STD. So, Jess, so Jess, when, he, when, when he hit me and he's like, it like, it like, <laughs> I'm like, so I'm like. So I give it, damn, what's up, family? I mean, I want to know. <laughs> family. Oh, ah. Family is it, listen, this is how you de, you de escalate hey, yeah. the danger. You always got to be in, you got to, it's words. <laughs> you know how it's words? You know how it's certain words in the no, hood? I'm not going to let you go to show. Let's clarify, at that point in time, Yo. you was STD, man. What is that? I was being a survivor. Scared to death. Scared to death. Yeah. So I, I said, what's up, John. family? Family, what's going on? I'm like, hitting with the, because there's certain words that could de escalate uh -huh. danger, especially in the black community. Brother, the greeting, salam alaikum. The difference mm. is that can help you in the situation. I'm just telling yeah, yeah. you. I'm just being ready. You know all the bitch moves. You gotta know that. You gotta have an exit plan. Okay. Not just in jail in life. So you listen. <laughs> I mean, so so now I'm like, that means peace be upon you. So, you know what I mean? Okay. I don't want no danger to come your way. Fuck right. that. Especially if you even try to bring danger my way. I'm trying to let you know that if that's the case. Yo, this nigga know all the bitch ass oh exits I know. to life. Yes. <laughs> so, so, so listen, uh, Jess. And not just in jail, in life. So now. <laughs> When he hit me, he hit me with the joint. This time third. Oh my god! Look, listen, no. When he, when Listening, he, man. So, so when he hit me with the joint, I'm like, this time third. I go to, I go to. I'm talking about, I'm talking about like, I go right in the joint. He's like, yo, man, you was on the visit. The other day. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I was on, I was out there the other day. My brother, this time third. But it was a, it was a. The response was a little slight, like seven to ten percent of aggression to let him know that I was trying to. But I ain't mm -hmm. wanted to be too far away. He was ready. To be. Right. He was ready. Like, yeah. oh nigga, you bucking? Yeah. Like, and he really went, right. he went off. So I'm like. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, but but it was real. It was yeah, uh, subtle. You know what it saying? was a subtle little spice up in there, but it wasn't right. too dangerous. Yeah. So I said, I said, yeah, yeah, you know, boom, boom, boom. He said, yo, man, why are you was all oh, checking my sister out? No, bro, no, it ain't even like that, man. I thought your sister, because your sister wasn't no like young girl. Mm -hmm. She had like about. I said, no, your sister looking like my old what's the name I had my old parole or probation officer when I was in June. He's like, she ain't no motherfucking. I said, that's what I thought she was, man. I wasn't looking like that. Mm -hmm. Because when I had the PO, she helped me out. Boom, 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 bang. Mm -hmm. Just that third. Listen, I'm talking about, I was going to give him some more explanation if he back, if he came back again. But that like, oh, I don't know, because I thought it was something else. I said, no, no. Because, you know, it was the PO that I had. She really helped me out when I was growing up. She was trying to keep me out. <laughs> I go right into the joint. What the fuck? Because I'm always on my toes, when baby. I grew, when I grew up. Listen, Yo. Because I had, you know what I mean? So he was like, no, no. I, didn't. I thought it was, I said, no, I ain't into that with nobody, folks, man. I don't do that shit. Mm. Like, I respect people. For mm. One thing about me, but like, it's a whole. Oh, man. I, listen, man I had you to, was bitching. My God. Man, listen, man. He was bitching. Listen, my motherfucking heart was breakdancing. That shit was like. I'm bad. <laughs> I this nigga worked folks. out. This nigga worked I'm like, no, it wasn't. I ain't on that time but at the end of the day one thing y'all gotta understand this life is about survival mm. don't get caught up into them words that intimidate you to make you be think that you're going through a less than moment because <laughs> you understand that danger is there mm -hmm. it's there it's knocking on your door and uh the best way to get out of it <laughs> study survivalism I, I'm, I think i'm going to do a special on survivalism and how yeah. to survive dangerous times in the ghetto and in prison or whatever it may get happen the fuck out once of again that was <laughs> stories from the cell <laughs> jess let me ask you yeah, this. So is it true what they say about Baltimore niggas? What they say about Baltimore niggas? They say a lot of shit about Baltimore East niggas. East side niggas is the grimy niggas. The west side niggas is the, the more trying to get to some money niggas. Everybody getting to some money. I no, hear I'm, that no, shit I'm, everywhere. I'm, I'm, you know I'm, just, I'm telling me, you what's this. You're supposed to ask me that shit. I'm, I'm no, from listen, Baltimore No, you're not. No, the fuck I'm just not, telling you what. Oh, I'm, I'm just telling you what. When I'm speaking to people <laughs> on my live and they from Baltimore, mm. that's what they say. Preferably the girls. Oh, no, them east side niggas. They ain't getting, man, Gilly. They going to kill you or something, Gilly. No, the west side niggas, they be more laid back trying to get some money and shit. You know, they still grind me over there, mm. but they. That's what they say. She's from Baltimore. I wanted to know what her standpoint. Okay. 
This episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is also sponsored by Lightboxer. You want to level your life up? You got to level your workout up. And one thing about Lightboxer is not another heavy bag. I'm talking about next generating this fitness platform that combine music, expert training, and technology. Integrated display show you when and where to punch. Four sensors track your every move, awarding good hits accurately in power. Listen, man, this is the real deal. Once again, this is not another heavy bag. I'm talking about music. Is, I'm, talking about, I'm talking about you got the music. I'm talking about choreographed with trainer classes and challenges enjoy curated playlists or select your own tracks with you know whatever you want to do you you just want your own library whatever you want to do but on here we got top artists like the artists you love like justin Bieber, Nicki Minaj. i'm talking about salt and pepper i'm talking about performance dashboard tracks progress so you can get stronger and fitter i'm talking about you can compete with friends you can uh climb the you know the leadership board uh the leaderboard uh Whatever, or you can set new people, whatever you want to do. I'm talking about what you need to do. You need to go to lifeboxer.com slash game and you get $100 off. Listen, $100 off. You're getting $100 off if you go to lifeboxer.com slash game. They give you $100 off on your first purchase. And once again, this is not another heavy bag. What you need to do, you want to level your life up, you got to level your work up. And the way you level your work up is Lifeboxer. Man, niggas from, you got niggas from over east. That's trying to get money. Niggas from over west get money. Then you got niggas from over west, grimy, kill their own kind. You know what I'm saying? All that type of shit. Niggas be into crazy sneaky niggas, set niggas up. Then you got the same type of shit going on over east. It don't all the whole Baltimore is you got like it's some corrupted magic. That's how that's what I like my you know city. Is 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 up and down, but it's everywhere. Ain't the one side ain't like better than the other side. That. I'm from West Baltimore, Emerson Avenue all day. Harlem and Duke, but still, uh, like, like the just at the and, same. And when you know, I ask you that, yeah. it's not saying one side is better than like a lot like, of people. They got that like, perspective though. Like they made a song. I think it was Harlem keep on making it, Brooklyn keep on taking it, something keep on. So mm. they basically just saying, okay, in this part of New York. These niggas, they think they the fly flashy mm-hmm. niggas. And this part of New York is more of the niggas do robberies and stick ups. Nah, and, listen, you know, it's in this everywhere, part of New York. Anywhere you fucking end up, you can have the same type of encounters any fucking way. You can oh, be no, on Miami Street. Absolutely. The same shit happened to you yeah, on Park Heights. That's where I'm from. And you Miami know Miami. you're not, yo. Nigga, you that's <laughs> know you're not. You can have the same told shit. Me that's where I'm from. I don't know why she would say this. <laughs> she said, "Listen, I'm not. She didn't really tell me that. I just claimed it because that's why I usually go at the salon and shit over there. So I was right, I right. posted up on the corner a couple times just for GP. And what niggas say? Ain't nobody say nothing. Oh, they was cool. It was cool. Yeah. It was a little. Like, Cause one thing about me. One thing about me. I know how to deactivate survival. Uh, survival. Survival. Yeah. So I was just out there like, yo, man, it's serious. What's up, family? Like, you saying what's up, I know family? What, yeah. That. that I, I left him in. The, uh, I left him in. The, uh, no, I say yo, yo. Oh, up, yo. Uh, yeah, yeah. What's oh, up, yo? you say it like that? Like yo, what's up? Like I mean, sound Italian, bro. No, but but him. <laughs> I, like, hey, yo. I remember I left him on Milton and Monument one time. Why the fuck would you leave him on Milton and Monument? I slid. That's when I slid up on April. He was scared to death. He came in. No, I, of wasn't. Course. I, I was. Understand. I was. I was scared no, to death. I wasn't. No, I called I wasn't. him and said, "What the fuck? Yo, what the fuck? You got me out here in this car for, bro? For fucking twenty minutes, man." Fuck type time as you want, man. It was dangerous. Oh, you said it like that. And then I walked in the motherfucking salon. He in there. You know, <laughs> yeah. Trying to fake ass shoot his shot, but act like he ain't shooting his shot. Well, see, one thing I love about you, you know, you got you, you got your shit together and all this right. and all the all. And this, she did. All this. I was wanting to do a commercial, right? No, yeah, you, you was running to do a commercial, do a commercial for, you. for you. Let me do a commercial for the whole time. But I'm gonna he say in this love though. with a nut ass nigga. Yeah, yeah. But I'm gonna say this though. Yeah, I will tell say the this. truth about how you got her, nigga. You want me? No, I just want to. I just want to put some eyes on your brand because you know I love what you out here doing. Yeah. Since one thing about me. One thing about me. I caught her. Listen, I caught her. I ain't bored her. That's what a lot of yeah. So I yeah. I, I, I pull up his numbers in there. Yeah, because you, you That's know. That's all I'm saying, though. Because yeah. you, you you spoke to our heart before you, you know, all that motherfucking, you know. But see, that's all good because if you taking shit to levels that's unexplainable and all you, that. But look, let me tell you what: not one nigga in Baltimore gonna talk to her like that. You feel me? Mm. I went right in there. No, you, you know, didn't grip up. Stop lying. Up. You gripped up? Niggas. What you mean? Stop, you stop lying. Yeah, nah, nah, no, fuck, fuck no. Not here. April, nah. He ain't lying. Like she had a gun on, on her hip to us. Come here. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck me. I gripped up. I done seen her threaten you. I'm saying this though, but I'm listening. Listen, I done seen her threaten you, nigga. She threatened my life a couple times. That's what made me love her. I said, oh, you going to threaten me like that? You going to get it tonight. I got something for you special. Because any girls that listen, it's certain shit. Like in the hood. Like I'm, you know, I'm, you know, I'm a real live from the bottom hood nigga, right? Mm-hmm. So with certain things in the hood that attract a nigga, if a chick, you know, bust your car window sometimes, you be like, oh, I'm a, I'm a D 
take you down tonight. Mm. <laughs> she, threat, she threatened your life about three, four times a week. Mm. She got her, 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 her motherfucking her frontal fucked up here and there. You like, oh yeah, that's <laughs> it is certain shit. Please, they do it to a motherfucker from the bottom, from the streets. Please, please. Yo, you know what niggas I mean? This is crazy. Cause it's like, damn, baby. See, see, real nigga, I fix a girl frontal. That's when she knows she she'll fall in love with you. Mm -hmm. If you catch her slipping, be like, baby, come here. And then pat it down because you pat know it down. when it come up. No, come on, slide to the side, baby. No, don't go in there. Yeah, I'm telling you, that's that next level shit. Man. Yeah, <laughs> that's when you can shit. Motherfucking chicks fall in love with niggas that fix frontals. Yeah, and listen, if you out there and you fix a girl frontal, she gonna fall in love. With I don't give a fuck what you do. I don't mm -hmm. give a fuck. You get caught. You ain't got to have no money. If you fix a girl frontal, mm -hmm. when she ready to take a fucking picture or she ready going to a, a hot spot. Mm -hmm. She's gonna love you forever. I'm telling you, she's gonna love you forever. I'm telling you, it's next level yep. shit. Shout so out to thing. all the FFs, the man, the about frontal it. fixers. And he not talking so shit about it, he's fixing it. That's yeah, he, different. He that's a different love. Slipping and all that type of shit. Yeah. That's what Shout I'm saying. Shout out to all the frontal, fi like but, but frontal back, fixers. Frontal fixers, Association listen, of, of day, America. At the end of the day, uh, who came at you in the game, man? Right? Mm hmm. And you was gonna give him a shot, but it just ain't turned out right. No. <laughs> no. We never thought we could ask a question that she couldn't answer. Yeah, she talked all this dumb shit. God, I'm gonna ask you. God, I'm gonna ask you. I mean, Westside, we used to do street, all this other shit. All that shit, all that shit, and I still ain't gonna tell y'all niggas nothing. No, fuck no. Why not? All that shit, nah, because I got to be on set with this nigga. No, fuck no. Okay, okay, okay. That's cool. Yeah. Top five comedians in the game right now. Oh, I'm, I'm just saying Instagram. Uh, no, no, Instagram no, 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 we, we taking it to Instagram motherfuckers. Fuck all. That's too easy. That's too much of a give out. Okay, if you tell cool. a regular comedian, Instagram, she's going to hurt some feelings because they ain't going to be on the list. But I mean, yeah, whatever. This. Go ahead. Top five. You want me, you want me to pick five niggas? That's a mm, lot. Mm, That's okay, a damn. Okay, we'll damn. From Instagram. Mm. Oh, man. Um, top three then. Mm. Mm. Got Jess. Mm. I, I love bitch, it. She's that bitch just, crazy. Mm -hmm. She said, Jess. Nah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Desi Banks. That's when you, wait, hold on. That's when you know a motherfucker crazy when they talk a third person. Talk to yeah. Yeah. You got Desi Gilly. Banks. Yep. You know you got Jess, Gill. Desi Banks. No, you in another, you in another top five. No, that's not. Yeah, that's no, no, not. no, 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 no. I'm not talking about in there. I'm talking about how she just talked in third person. Like, she, like your brain is not operating today. Mm. <laughs> Man. Just Desi Banks. Damn. Just Desi and, uh, Banks. Desi Alexander, my brother. That's my own brother and shit. Like he do, yo. I I'm the one that put him on with doing the fucking videos. He was just a regular stand up comic, comic and shit. But nigga. yep, Desi forty eighteen. And he spelled it just like Desi Banks and shit. He was he would, he been doing stand up for like fifteen years. I put him on with the the video shit. He put me on with the stand up shit, and we crossed worlds. Now we tour with me. He on his own tour, doing his own shit. Built his own platform up. You said Desi what? He, tra he traveled with me. Desi, 4018. From West Baltimore, too. But that nigga, I'm Desi Banks. That nigga funny as shit. So I, let me ask I'm you a question. As far as being a, com a comedian mm. and transforming mm. from Instagram mm. to, doing this thing too. I see. Yeah. to going out and to now selling out. You know, you sold out the MGM, right? I did. Yep. Three times. You feel what I'm saying? Hippodrome, all of that big thing. It is my rush. Would, would you say it's safe to say, like, you're probably the biggest comedian to come from Instagram? I would say that, yes. You know what I'm saying? I would say uh, female-wise, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I don't know. What, is there any males out there that came from Instagram that's... Um, because I, I don't want to give you the female tag. I was giving you... I thought you of was... Overall? I mean, yeah, you can give me that, definitely. But see that... Look, see, I... Really, really try not to pay attention to what the fuck anybody else do because it's hard to stand out and be original with the internet, like, especially with comedy, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of different shit. Motherfuckers would be like, you put something out there, oh, shorty did that shit with the, oh, B. Simone did that shit with the, oh, I don't follow none of, I don't follow nobody. Yeah, I don't I'm pay attention to niggas the, or females, no, no. so I don't even know who's, And I'm you know just I mean? talking about the route that, that you took. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? That's what make your shit so unique. You mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying? The route you took, and I forgot about my brothers, DC Young Fly. Yeah, man. Them, Absolutely. Yeah, they, yeah, South, yeah, them niggas brothers, doing man. it big too. They yeah. selling out motherfucking spots yeah. too. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. but, Chico, Carlos, my fucking But it's yeah. not a lot of motherfucking comedians that like, you know, was able to transition mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. Instagram. It don't translate. It don't yeah. translate right. from Instagram to, to that, to to that stand-up. Yeah. That's you a whole different game. Because yeah. that's a whole different game. So mm -hmm. that's, that's, you know, 
Shout out we to Ha Ha Davis get, too. We fucked well, Absolutely. Yeah, Ha Ha cool. Davis. Because you know what was shocking? I seen Ha Ha Davis do a stand up. Y'all was And was I there? wasn't. Uh, yeah, you was there. Was I wasn't mm-hmm. expecting Ha Ha Davis to be as funny as he was in stand yeah. up. And he really yeah. did his thing. Yeah. So shout out to him as well. You know what I'm saying? But it's not too many people that's really able to transition from mm-hmm. off of Instagram to mm-hmm. Being more than okay, you Instagram funny. Okay, you got but the real life stage where motherfuckers are sitting in the audience. You ain't, oh shit, you ain't got no camera. You know you what I'm saying? You don't to have do it no. Over 10 times. You don't look at no. Yeah, you know, you ain't no editing. You right. them motherfuckers is here. Ain't no like button. Ain't no comments. Talk that they shit. They gonna laugh or they not. Absolutely. Listen, I ain't never been booed. I'm always a motherfucker. You can throw me up there. That's how I got into the shit. My brother just threw me up there and was like, "Yo, do something." Like, I ain't doing no fucking stand up. Mm. Got up there, talk shit first. First, it was like an open mic. They was like, yo, dude, five minutes. I'm like, all right, cool. I went up there. I ain't, I'm bullshitting, just talking to people. I, then I knew I could do it. I, this was over East Baltimore, SNS Lounge. And then I'm here now. And then I'm telling you, I had only been on stage like four times. Martin Lawrence called me. He started seeing my viral videos and shit. So he didn't even know I taught. Yeah. He's like, I'm coming to Baltimore. I wanted to do something. He wanted to do something like he writing shit. And so then he called me back, like, you you, uh, you know I'm on a what now tour, would you like to open up for me? I'm like, fuck it. He was like, you do stand up? And I was like, hell yeah. He was like, how long you been doing? I was like, like three years, lying like a bitch. I was only doing that <laughs> shit for like three days, I'm telling you. Yeah. I, it just happened like that. And he was like, you want to open up for me? I'm coming to the Royal Farms Arena. And I went out there and did yeah. that shit. And it was did over. that Killed shit. Killed it, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Killed that shit. Well, yeah. Go ahead. Now, Carefully Reckless, right? Yeah, my podcast. That's the podcast, man. Absolutely. It's, it's going on Black Effects. They over there making it happen. Shout out to everybody over there, Charlemagne, everybody doing it. Absolutely. Uh, why did that come about? And what is that about for the people that don't know? Yeah, so Charlemagne always been a, a big fan of mine. And, like, he support the fuck out of me, like, from day one. Shout from Charlemagne. Through all the, yeah, through all the, you know, invisible cancellations and shit. Like, yeah, invisible. he yeah he done stuck through like and like nah you keep going keep keep going and shit and um i had the dish nation with ricky smiley for a minute you know ricky smiley morning show and all that shit and everybody just kept saying oh, you got a voice for radio you know other than that shit so i'm like yeah but i like to be seen you know what i mean i don't really like i like joking i like to be saying i'm like i don't want to no fucking comedy on nobody that's just listening no you need to see me and shit so at first i put it down put the idea in my pocket and shit then quarantine came wasn't nobody able to do shit. Ain't nobody able to see nothing but the internet, they phones and shit. Then motherfuckers started. It was like a spike in how many niggas like podcasts. I'm like, shit, I even I started listening. Started yeah. listening to y'all niggas over the fucking quarantine and shit. And I'm so, like, hold up. Yeah, like, yeah, y'all, y'all and like three other people. Cause everybody podcasts, like, you know what I'm saying? No, but we ain't gonna get into that. Yeah. But yeah, it's just like, you know, some niggas like, damn, shit how do I hitting. fuck? I'm gonna say everybody shit. Yeah, hey, it's like, you know, so you'll be listening to my shit and then be like, what the fuck? It's boring shit. So, you know, all right. Then uh, Charlemagne hit me like, yo, you need to do this shit. You got a lot of shit to talk about. You've been canceled. You, you got all these experiences, you know, having to maneuver through all this shit, getting canceled, all this type so of shit. So cancel really you blow you the fuck up out here. They cancel you. Like, I'm they blow, telling they you, help yeah, you. Yeah, because no matter what, your name is in somebody's mouth and it's always somebody to go against a motherfucker to cancel you. Like, so if you start... And, and weir- weirdly as it is, if you can keep, yeah, the friction going, yo, your insights go up, your engagement go up, whether they come in there to tell you they hate you or not. If you took the time to tell me, bitch, you ugly and you canceled, you putting a lot of energy into me. I love you. Yeah. I don't give a fuck, you know? So I wasn't, do- and I don't get in trouble purposely. It's just the way I am, you know? I guess, you know, a little too real, a little too raw for shit, you know? And that's just how it is. And Charlamagne was like, you need to do this shit. I said, all right, cool. He said, you got somebody you want to do it with? No. Why? Because I don't hit a motherfucker. I, I, I just don't. I don't know. Not until you was just explaining to me, Wallow, like, yo, you need to have somebody the opposite, total opposite of you. Somebody that can cause some friction. The same way that he was explaining upstairs is how, exactly how it worked online. Mm-hmm. So I, I see now, all right, maybe I could do it. But I'm just such a loner. I'm by myself with everything I fucking do. So... Yeah, that's how that shit happened. I just be talking my shit once a week, every Wednesday, carefully reckless, every fucking Wednesday. That's some dope shit you got going on, too. Yeah. So, you know, we support you. Appreciate that. We'll talk. You funny as a motherfucker. I was at one of your first shows in Philly. It was dark as a motherfucker. Yo, that was my there. first time here. Yeah, yep. I, I was there. I, yep. was, I was actually in a crowd, me and two. My wife was like, oh, I like her. Let's let's go to her, her concert. She got a concert. 
Yeah. In Philly. She got a show in Philly live show. Mm -hmm. I was out there. You killed that shit. Though. Thank you. And that's why I was doing shit myself. So I ain't, I ain't know nobody. I ain't know no promoters. I wasn't really cool with nobody. I just was finding venues and I just put this shit together. Philly gonna come out. They love me online. I think they gonna let me up here. I remember I was like selling tickets for that shit in the mall, like hand to hand, mm. driving around in my car. Like, hey, I'm Justin Larry. You may not know me. Check me out. Da -da -da -da. Here, I do stand up. Want to buy a ticket? It's twenty dollars. I'm talking about like really, really grinding and shit. And so what I noticed is when you came out. It was almost like like playing sports and shit. Mm -hmm. The longer you was up there, the more comfortable you got. Yeah. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? At first, I, it was almost like you ain't know what to expect. Yeah. And then you came on and you was, you was, yeah. you, you was chill. You know, I'm a performer. Mm -hmm. So I could look at body language mm -hmm. and tell Ooh. when a motherfucker all the way come. <laughs> How you like, like, Listen, man, I could look what? at and tell when a motherfucker all the way, all the way come. You didn't make it in rap. Right. You, you feel what I'm saying? Rapper. I could yeah. tell when you first you hit the stage, you, like, you, you wasn't all the way in your like, group. Like, Let me yeah, tell you yeah. something. Like, nigga, you I performed at Notta Hill Carnival, nigga, in front of two million people before, you know, nigga. You know how many backup just cause you, just cause you was doing, Just because that... you was doing prison yard motherfucking talent shows, bro. Okay. okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Don't, 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 don't be that mad at me, nigga. The show was the show. I ain't say the show didn't count. You know what I mean? But I just say you're not a big performer. Fuck is wrong with him. He up there. He up there with the tightest jump on in the prison. I want to rock. I want to jiggy, jiggy, jiggy. Doo doo brown. Doo doo brown. That was my shit. Yeah. Boom, going uh, in. That was the shit in the clubs back in the day. Going in. Then they go wallow. Go wallow. Go wallow. Go wallow. <laughs> he hating on me, man. He, Survival. He was hating on me. He talking, I'm twerking yeah, and hurting him. I'm twerking him and hurting him. <laughs> Putting that muscle on my jacket. Fake that ass, ass nigga. But I seen as you got, as the show went on, you got mm -hmm. more comfortable. You just start killing that shit. And by the time you ended that motherfucker, I was like, she did her thing. Yeah, you know I mean? yeah. I was scared of shit, yo. I ain't going to lie because I was going in on me. Like, going in, yo. And I know one thing. Like, when somebody is from your city and shit and, and another motherfucker from another city, shit on him real badly. Every day I'm talking about, yo, he make himself so talk aboutable, even to this day. But, like, back, back. But what yo, you had, what, what you, it wasn't It was personal. the way he dressed. No, fuck no. I was just being yeah. a comedian doing yeah. that shit. And I guess... I did it too many times for him because he was about to pay his little sister to fade. Like, he was like, you better not, she better not come up here. She like, he said that shit. Like, I was like, damn, really? Let me crack on you again. Shit, fuck it. You know, and then I came up here. So I didn't know what to expect during that show. I'm like, right. man, because then at the wild, man, it was messages got crazy DMs got crazy they was sending shit to the email like you come up here I'm gonna slap shit out you oh yeah we're gonna be outside the show like really, like that's something like yo it's city ride for him but I was just being a comedian he I, it was the way he was dressing the shit he would be saying like all types of shit I'm like yo Meek is a joke like he was like, uh, like I'm like yo you funny as shit like he's funny so and let me ask you a question did you ever bump into Meek yeah at the BET Awards a couple years ago when he came home it was like he was like, oh, you know, power. So he, I guess he let all the beefs go and shit. Cause when he saw me, he was just like, what's up? And I said, what's up? I was, no, I said, what's up first. I was like, what's up, me? You know, I ain't know what type of shit he was on, but I was like, what's up, family? What's up? With you? Family, see? <laughs> she know how to deactivate the danger. She was bitching. She was hey, just yo, she, hey, yo, she was yeah, scared to death. Yeah. She told him, what's up, Meek? What's up, family? Yeah, and then, you know, Meek, Meek. What's up, family? You know, and then Meek, you know, he, uh, he like uh, he got Chino, Chino like his little brother, Chino from Baltimore yes. too. So okay, that so was my felt, way in. I'm like, felt. Chino, what's up, yo? That's me. <laughs> yes, me. That's like, that's me right now. I was like, oh shit, what's up, yo? I didn't even know you was home. Everybody hey, knew you was home. Hey, she <laughs> said, like, she yeah. seen it. She seen the, the, the escalator. Yeah. Yeah. She knows the de escalator. Yeah. Yeah. Chino's not gonna let nothing happen to me from Baltimore. What's up, Chino? Listen, let me just say this: the whole time she measuring if Chino going front or not. What's up, Chino? Yeah, So when Chino. Chino said, what's up, baby? Oh, man. Yeah, I'm like, okay. Because I ain't know if Chino me. was with him because he was, you right. know, because that's his man. So I'm like, but so I'm from Baltimore, Chino, so you can't. When Chino was like, what's up, baby? Yeah, he was she like, took oh, what's it a step up, Jess? Yeah. Oh, that's me. me. I'm like, like, she, like but she nah, know that but was I, me. I, yeah, <laughs> I, I had to, though. I oh, had to. Oh, that's me? Because he was turned to he the side. He said it right there. She talking about, oh, that's me. I didn't know. I didn't know you was home, nigga, when you get out. That's what I I didn't know, yo. I was just like, oh, that's me right there. And Chino was like, oh, yeah. 
Yeah, that's what I was like. All she right, crazy. shit. You know, she what's had up, to de-escalate. She had and, to de- that, day, de- that day. That day, Chino then, was the de-escalator. You know what I'm saying? And then he was like, "What's up?" You know, and I was like, "Shit, I didn't know you was home. Like, I'm glad you're home. I'm proud of you." <laughs> you I'm know, proud. you see him all over the internet, Not, right? Come on, I didn't know you. <laughs> She <laughs> seen him all in the chopper. She going to the six again. You know? She talking about, I didn't know you was home. When you get home, baby. Yeah. She, you know? she even went as far as, you know, I got a little something for you. No, <laughs> no, you not out? there. Whatever. Not niggas, come on. I literally, that's all I did. I just was like, you know, you, you looking nice. She, you know, you look she, nice. I like she bought me. She bought me a couple sweaters. <laughs> <laughs> Never. Funny as shit. And that was it. That was it. And he was just like, "Yeah, that's what's up." So we we cool now. I still be talking about him like a motherfucker. We cool. I guess he learned like she ain't gonna stop. So fuck it. This episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is also sponsored by Better Health. One thing about Better Health, man. Listen, man. We all need somebody to talk to, man. Maybe your stress is too much to manage, or you have depression, anxiety, or PTSD. Maybe you just need an un. I'm talking about an unbiased person to talk to. What what better place than Better Help? Better Help is going to help you out with those things. You know, it's like. It's just like we've been through a lot. Last year was a lot for everybody. And uh, Better Help, one thing I like about them is Better Help, they customize online therapy that offer video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. Like you could just talk to somebody, somebody that you never know, somebody that's not going to judge you, somebody that's not going to tell your business or talk about the stuff that you talked about with them. That's why I love Better Help. You know, it's just a safe place. Without a healthy mind, being happy is hard. So if this is for you, therapy can give you the tools to make life even better. So what you need to do, you need to get with BetterHelp. You just betterhelp.com slash game. Listen, all our listeners, we're giving you 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash games. What are you waiting for? I mean, at the end of the day, my shit. I, you know, I don't, I, can, I don't, me personally, I don't get mad at nothing the comedians right. say because your job is to be an asshole yeah. and your job is to talk shit. But one thing I do have a problem with is, Let's go. I have a problem with the SCs. With the what? The SCs. Who is that? Yo, the stupid the, comedians? No, the sensitive comedians. Oh, real shit. Yeah. Like, if you're a comedian, you, you can't be sensitive. You can't grind motherfuckers to sawdust. Yeah. And then you go through a little hiccup here. Yeah. You, something happened to your hair. Motherfuckers mm-hmm. making fun of you now. Mm-hmm. And now you tell me, I can't believe y'all motherfuckers. Like, what? I'm going through some serious shit. No. Dog, it's cool. It's out there. Mm-hmm. We we see it. it, it you fucked up. Mm-hmm. We're going to make fun of it. Absolutely. That's just part of the game. Black people make fun of anything. You can't and that's, grind and that's niggas one thing about that it. Us. Even dead niggas. I'm talking about like everything. <clears throat> and, and then like comedians back then. Crazy. You're talking about prior. All the niggas used Red to Fox. joke about AIDS and shit like that. Rape. All that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Comedy is supposed to be limitless. The shit that you cry about. We're supposed Not to make no you more. laugh about it. The shit that you that you don't want. The unspoken like the unspoken shit. Like you supposed to speak about that shit. Make motherfuckers laugh at it. That's how you feel better about shit anyway. Now, That's how I feel. Now if I'm a young comedian I'm watching this and I'm trying to get in the game I'm trying to pop my jokes on mm-hmm. on the internet. My, my, my people in my community probably ain't biting. Uh, my family probably ain't biting them. What, what, what advice would you have for that person that's out there that's trying to get to your level or maybe even bigger than you? Like, what, what advice could you give them that, you know, from journey, from your journey that you took? Just, I mean, honestly, I see, I hate questions like that because then you always got to be like, yo, you just got to be yourself. Like, no, I, just, I hate that dumb ass shit, yo. But <laughs> it's real shit because the answers be at the same every time. Oh, just just be, yourself, be yourself. Believe in never, you. Never stop doing you. Like, yeah, like, and that shit, don't nobody want to hear that shit, no, yo. Dude, like, you got to tell them the truth. You got to put the is, fucking work in. Listen. I'll tell you what to do. You put that fucking work in. You feel me? But I didn't let that you. Yeah, yeah that's what I was. Yeah, I was, was just ready to say that. Yeah, you on yeah. point. Yeah. But no, but no, because she, she, she says you got to get a bootleg answer every time. No, no, no. no I was don't. just saying. I was about to say that was the that's the that's the bullshit everybody expect for you to say because that's what everybody always say. Just believe in yourself and shit. Like believe in yourself. Never give up. Believe in me. Like for what? So me. I'm myself, literally, that's really the advice, the advice I'm giving you. Like, that's when you say, when well, motherfuckers crack on, like, crack on your head and shit, you get sensitive. I, I throw niggas alley-oops, like, I don't give a fuck. Like, one time I took a picture of myself where I had no edges at once. I had no hairline at one time. I'm talking about, Damn. I didn't have no length, no edges, no nothing. Just so letting bitches like play in my head. Just, matter of fact, No. Mm. Not yet. I would have been there mm. had I not changed it. Had mm. I not like got but a hold of that shit. Grow? 
I used a bunch of shit. Yo, it was so uh-huh. much shit that wasn't working. I forgot what worked. You used uh-huh. so it was, was it was and man. I had and I took a picture of myself and I put that shit on the internet. That's the first. Well, that's like the fifth time I went viral. Everybody started bitting on me. Everybody just everybody coming at me, coming at me. And I came and I picked all the big comedians out who did it and went down the line. I'm talking about DC gave me a run, but I still won. Yeah. Well, I'm talking about nobody. Yeah, oh, so you got nobody DC went, out of there? We went rounds. He was the only one that kept on it. Like, oh, you got oh DC yeah, you got out this. Of man, what? Yeah, got y'all, you out of there. Y'all DC. call she him right him now. Got him she out of there. Wait, hold on. The call internet him right declared now. that she shit. She she killed DC. I call a nigga real shit, man. What? No, because you know, yeah. he gonna say hell no. Nah. Yeah, yeah, you know he gonna hell say hell no. Yeah, hell no. And that's my nigga, and I got his ass. Got him. He don't, but he the only one. That that really really give me that like him and I ain't gonna I ain't gonna lie Michael Blackson he never won that but black he just kept, I know right and he from here keep talking about he from over there and shit yeah the motherfucker whole time. motherfucker was from Fifty Second and Market motherfucker yeah he ain't from but the yeah. fucking Africa motherfucker from, so you know, literally just, Africans don't even talk like that motherfucker just be you just be you for real yeah, sometimes you gotta do shit to stand out you you know what I'm saying like and even with the internet I, like I was just explain, explaining earlier like. The internet is the wave right now, and it's so it's so hard to stand the fuck out. So everybody feel like they gotta do the same shit. Mm-hmm. I stand out because I talk about where I came from, and I also stand out because the shit that you see on internet, you're not gonna come to the show and see. Right. I'm, I'm different. Like you're not going hear the shit in my podcast that you can see online. Because then it's like, bitch, I can just go look at you online instead right. of buying a fifty dollar ticket to come see you or listen to your podcast or you know what I'm saying. When I see you on TV, you're talking about the same shit. No. Every jest is different. Right. Because I ain't trying to water myself down. I don't know when this shit going to end. So, you know what I'm saying? I don't be, no, nah, scratching and scrounging for shit to do. Everything is different. Mm-hmm. So, just be different. Stand up. Be yourself. Believe in you. That's it, I guess. That was the same shit. That man, you I just know, gotta yo, work I know, hard. I know. But that's, that's really all, what the man. fuck it is. Hey, let me tell you, and and stay something. consistent. Because once, because the internet, yo, people's minds is so... Like ADHD, like this nigga. This nigga cannot keep still. Like it's like his mind yeah, just be going cool. and shit. That's a cool. No, but you can't either. You can't fucking keep still neither, yo. It's no, like I'm your mind that's be the going. Cool. He that's on cool. the yeah, that's all right. He on coke. That's I drink beer. All right, cool. Yeah. So that's what keep us fucked up. And he on rhythm, but, but he ain't take it. You gotta stay consistent because once you stop, motherfuckers will forget about you and they just waiting for the next person. And listen though, so. too. All that. Oh, you got to believe in yourself. You just know. <laughs> fuck that. Some of you niggas need to disbelieve in your fucking self. Ain't no because if you're a corny ass rapper. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a different that's oh, a different. You topic. can believe all the fuck you want. You're not going to fucking the hot wear. rappers out there. You're not going to <laughs> fucking wear. <laughs> but Wilo said comedian. About? Since we talking about that, that's different. But like, Wilo said comedians. Uh, did you ever try uh, rapping? Uh, yeah, but I'm just saying, if you're a comedian, a corny let rapper. me just say something. Yeah. If you're a comedian <laughs> and yeah. you done did a thousand skits, that don't never get no traction. It's probably because you're not that fucking funny. It might be the fifteen hundred one that might. No, pop. fuck all that. Nah, you ain't nah. that fucking funny. Stop investing in shit that don't love you back. Right. Oh, you so you trick yourself. I'm gonna believe. I just wanna believe. No, you believing in yeah. bullshit, man. Yeah. Don't fucking buddy think you're funny. Nobody never laughed at you. So then, what they you. supposed to do? They, they supposed to concentrate Find on out some other else shit. That they can do, yeah. Right, motherfuckers be running around here believing in fake fucking dreams a lot of times. Ooh, yeah. Because ooh, I just I just want to do this. I'm not that funny. Nobody ever thought I was funny, but fuck it, I'm a comedian right. today. Right. No, you're not. You're a fucking comedian when right. you make some fucking money from yeah. being a comedian. Yeah. Everybody, ooh, I'm a rapper. What do you do? I'm a rapper. No, you not. Yeah. You just a nigga that make music, nigga. Mm-hmm. You not a rapper until rapping starts fucking paying you till right. you can pay some I'm fucking bills. That's Bullshit. when you a rapper. I'm just being real. All these no, motherfuckers just want to jump in the easy lane. Ooh, I'm this now. No, you're right. not. That's my until problem. Until fucking pays you. That's my problem. Because I don't like... Okay, so what I don't like... Because a comedian to me is an all-around fucking funny person. A comedian is... You do stand-up. You act comically. You know, you can do commentary. You good with improv. A comedian is not somebody that just do skits to me. Right. That's how I've always looked at it. In fact, I wasn't even calling myself a comedian until I started doing stand up and I got better at it. Right. I was I I just lied to Martin at one time, but right. after I opened up for Martin in front of nineteen thousand people, did, bitch, did, I'm a comedian. Did Whoever Martin fuck. know you ever lied to him? 
Before now he point, probably will if he listen. You know what I mean? Oh no, everybody listen to this shit. So Mark exactly. gonna find out that you lied yeah, to him. And, and sometimes you gotta, you know, you gotta fake it to make it. Yeah, fake and it. and and the fuck I made it, and I'm still making it. Oh, yeah, that well, lie. Y'all said something, right? <laughs> that you're not a comedian or a rapper until you make money. I put a rapper on. Uh, a rap he song. said that. I put a rap song. No, I, I you're not. <laughs> People bought my song. No, no fucking money bought that rap? shit. Yeah, they bought my song. Nobody oh bought God. that shit. That stupid ass shit, man. Turn that shit off. Okay, drafts. I'm dripping, drip, drip, dripping. I'm dripping. I'm dripping. I'll buy you a bag. I'm dripping. Look at my bread. I'm dripping. You want a bag? I'll bag you. I'll burp you. I'm dripping. I'm dripping, drip, drip, dripping. Wait till the beat drop. Water out of me, cause I'm a dripper. Dripping. Dripping. I'm dripping. I'll buy you a bag. I'm dripping. Look at my bread. I'm dripping. You want a bag, I bag. Okay. You don't want to dance in my song? No, I'm trying. I'm trying to absorb it. Let me see. Let me see. I'm, I'm a dripper. Spring water drip. Spring water drip. Spring water dripping. 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 I'm dripping. Oh, you gonna I fuck you this bag, I'm up for this dumb ass shit, man? Bread, like, you, you gonna fuck this whole you up? I'm fucking nut that dumb ass shit, man. I'm out of me because I'm a dripper. I mean, people bought that. Like, so I'm, I'm a rapper. Too. So, like, you know what some dumb motherfuckers But you know in the what, world. though, y'all? You know there's what? Some, that's, that's a prime example of it's some stupid motherfuckers out here. But let me tell you this. They buy shit in a bag <laughs> if it was motherfucker. No, but let me, like I, motherfucker sell no, it. Well, I guarantee no. you I'm a rapper. somebody I got a rapper. out here buy shit you. Nah, in a bag. You're not. But look. It's Madonna if, shit, dude. But, I pay 84000 for it. But. Shit in a bag. That same exact song. If Future was to do that shit, it wouldn't be fucking hot. It'd be. It would. It would be. Niggas would be TikTok and that shit. Oh, he dripping my. and he dripping and he burning in the bag. And it, I'm telling you, it'd be. It'd be. I'm like but because it's do. wallow. But I'm still a rapper. That shit is trash. I'm a rapper though. Is no. Well, I'm not. No, I, you're you not. Said, you see, you gotta make. I make money. On, I made money. People buy that shit. Who? Like some I mean, people, not who, but sorry. No, man, I mean like made two hundred dollars off that shit. How many streams you got? I don't know. About a couple hundred. 46. Right, yeah. 46 streams. That's a rapper. 46 That's a Shut street. the fuck up. I'm fuck a rapper now. I can nah. put rap under my name like rapper. Can I put it in my bio? No. You fuck said you no. said if you make money off a of rap, you could do it. Oh, man. Listen, mm. you, See, you ain't you made no to. fucking money. You got to be. You can't pay no a rapper. motherfucking bill. I ain't ever make money off that song I fucking got. So I, I ain't a rapper. But and you, I wouldn't And I wouldn't even say that I was. I mean, it's just shit that you can do that you can't. you make? I did. Where is it at? Is it on iTunes? Yeah, but you ain't gotta even go that far to look at it. <laughs> he, yeah, he trying to. It's he, called nice. He trying to. Yeah, he wanted. He wanted. To, he, yeah, he's. I trying mean, to you really ain't even got really. You know what I'm saying? Because we time is almost up. Matter of fact, so we ain't even gotta play it. Because y'all said this was only gonna be an hour, so we ain't even gotta really yeah, do it. But don't and then I gotta it. get on the road because tra- traffic be crazy. All right. So <laughs> what was no. the name of the song? I don't see it nowhere. Right, so I might have been deleted anyway, so it's cool because we ain't got to go through the motions of it. Yeah, see, look at him. He he trying to. Yeah, it's called <laughs> nice though. It's called nice, man. Yeah. I'm gonna find this joint. Come on, they man. You don't really got to because you know time. It's probably gonna take a long time. So a lot of songs called nice. Yeah, they ain't on there. They 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 blocked you. First of all, you lying. I don't see that shit nowhere on here. Hold up. It's definitely on there. Definitely on there. What the fuck is you talking about? Definitely. No, it ain't on there. You me. spelling her name wrong, man. It's definitely on there. Spelled it right. It ain't nowhere on there. I'm just a nice single. <clears throat> mm. Oh, okay. Let me see this joint. What are you talking about? She trying, she trying to get her little song off. Uh, let's get it. I want to hear her. I actually wasn't trying to get my fucking song <laughs> off. <laughs> the fuck. Nice little ass back there. Nice little ass back there. Like Jess, you got your ass up Nigga, shut the fuck up I've been out here on my cash run Told you I'm a hustler I've been what? I don't do no bluffing Getting money Spend it like it's nothing He like If he cute, I might just pop it Got your bitch asking for pictures If she ugly, I'm gon' crop it I just left outside the office In LA, I made a play I like niggas with tattoos who carry guns What can I say? And he like And I'm like 
homie. Nice to ass back there. Nice to ass, homie. He be like, and I'm like, oh, homie. This is DJ. I'll see all the girls in the back with the nice asses. Throw them. Grammy, all I do is make them laugh. Not it in my song, and all they do is shake they ass. Don't do shit for free, so if you broke that, please don't ask. I don't want your nigga, cause I heard his dick was trash. Boss bitch, I don't get tired. Seven days, I did eight shows. Real niggas on my side, and they don't move till I say so. The narrow to them bank rolls, your rolls to them pesos. I pop it down and I slide. Say my shit move like J Lo. And I'm like, homie. Homie, he be like, and I'm like, homie, homie. Okay, yeah, that's the DJ uh, man, DJ Wally, do it to him. I'm bringing it to you live. That's that just like <laughs> be single. Check it out. Performing live here next week. Be here or be square. Don't meet me here. Beat me here. Man, you sound like this. a Caucasian DJ. I will like say this. Be square. Be I, will, I will say this though. Don't meet me there. Beat All me you do is because you heard her from her. <laughs> if you got a tattoo and you have guns and you have a gun on you, slide in her DM. She First likes niggas. <laughs> she says you like niggas with guns and tattoos. I really do. What can I say? Yeah. That's crazy. They say she got an ass done. Did you, did you ever talk to the doctor? Doctor, <laughs> doctor Remix? You ever been to... No, who the fuck is Dr. Remix? He remixed people's bodies and shit. Ain't nothing wrong with him. Oh, saying, okay, no. Because they asked you, they said you got your joint done. That's what they were saying. You yeah, got, they always say that shit. I mean, I had a uh, BBL, yeah. Then I got my titties done, too. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You paid for it. Yeah, I was for, well, I was walking around looking like little Justin until I was like 24, so yeah. She got it done up. Why the fuck not? I always had like a little, like a little nice little cuff in my ass, but I... I was like, my chest was like yours and shit. It was yeah. like real flat. Like I'm talking, I was in training bras at 21. Like it was like real sick shit. So, so now when you like, when it's time to get busy, do you find yourself like just coming out of that shit faster? Like, bam, yeah, nigga. What you uh, mean coming out of it? Like when it's time to get busy, you know, you you with, you're with Big Shocky. It depends on the mood. Uh, Ooh, it, it, no, no, I'm saying you with Big, Yo, big Shocky. No. It depends Shockey. on the mood I'm no, in. Like did. she just she just assaulted him. Talking about Big Shocky, I don't call a nigga Big Shocky. I like, don't. I don't call him Shocky at all. I don't call him. <laughs> Look, Shockey, nigga. that's his name. That's no, it's not. <laughs> Look, I do not. I, it depends on the mood I'm in. I might come up. You know, I might come out that shit. I might initiate it. Sometimes I want a nigga to be like. Yeah, come the fuck over here. You know what I'm saying? Grip me up. Grip me up like you lied. I said you did eight. I'm talking about just grip me. Well, I ain't gonna lie. No, okay. you did, Joe. You said no, you gripped good. up with the gun on the So head. now, so lied. now that so okay, so now that you you know you 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 know, you got the, the cakes that you always been, do you find yourself wanting to, you know, like give back shots a lot? Like display your cakes. Throw your ass, throw jump up on all fours, like cause you know when women get that ass, they usually throw it on the gram, they shake that motherfucker, they mm -hmm. it's like a new car. You got to show this motherfucker Carry off. Mother, yeah. So now like when you get naked with big shocky, is it like you jump up on all fours? Yeah, uh huh. You know what I'm saying? No. Is it you don't want to show it off like that? Mm -mm. Good no. I don't I don't just jump up there. Like, you know, that's not my favorite position. I I'm I'm more of a rider. I don't really like the Oh, okay. You know, be like, oh yeah, come on, like get up in the stairs. No, not really. You know, yeah, it's different strokes for different folks. So know? everybody that uh out there that's DM and Jess understand. I like the way my body she's looking clothes. Yes, she's I'm a, a writer. writer. I'm a writer. I'm a, I'm, I'm a writer. So. You ever did a bit with a nigga? Hmm? Nigga was up in jail. You ever go visit a nigga in jail? No. Damn, you said that quick. No, like, <laughs> no I, I, I've, I've <laughs> been, been but all the time. I ain't never. Like, like, I know, but I've been in jail. I mean, I don't. All right, when you was no. in jail, what happened, man? Anybody, anybody Nobody came to see me. Anybody try you and any of them girls, Big Ursula and them? Fuck yeah. And what, did you, what happened? Did they take like, it? Did they give you some comments here? Got my ass beat. What the fuck you mean? I was running my mouth. I shouldn't have been running my oh, fucking somebody, mouth. You every was day, running mouth every day. Somebody took your innocence? Because look, my thing is, no, I wasn't innocent. How long did the you do? Thing, oh, damn, okay. <laughs> no, because you said did they take your innocence. I did nine months. Oh, yeah. oh so you was just in a little baby. Bit. You nah, was in there. Do the scissor legs. Do the scissor legs. And look, I've always was thinking like, cause don't you know how niggas? <laughs> you know how niggas be, yo. You know how niggas be when they be like, you gotta show niggas you tough so they don't try you. Did you who you show? So I just you? went in there and just you know everybody when I went in that bitch. You know how I many was, times you got sucker punched in there? How many times your titties got sucked? <laughs> no, nah, nah, it's never going down like that. It never went down like that. I how mean, many, how many times you was in a cell crying with your titties here? Uh, no, none. Beer. I've gotten like, like 
like three fights. Shut the fuck but up. I got banked in that bitch the first time. I went. I was doing too much. I was mad as shit. Damn, and you went to sleep. You woke up. You was yeah. Like, it was like no, nah, because I thought it was. I, look, I'm going off for the jail TV, so I'm thinking that. I mean, the TV jail, so I'm thinking like it's gonna be two per <coughs> cell. No, nah, I'm in a t- on a table with a whole bunch of bitches. And mm-hmm. I'm like, oh no! And they clocked you in the head. Yeah, then I thought I was what slick head one with? time. No, they fist. Everybody was fucking beating on me. What you mean? And they then it was like you? five bitches, and they was Mexicans too. They they was his. I don't even want to say Mexicans. They was like Hispanics. I don't even know if they was Mexicans. And they worked them you bitches out was, they beat yeah, the it was two big meat ones out, yeah. and three little ones. And I was running my mouth in that bitch, and I don't know who the fuck I thought I was. I you know? haven't. Eaten. They, do you remember who hit you or did you just woke no, up? No, they, they walked up. No, no, no. Like, what, I was asleep. They just got me when I was asleep. And I just woke up and shit. And then I was like, yo, if I was up, I would have beat the shit out of all y'all bitches. Y'all, yeah, y'all had to get me while I was asleep. Still running my mouth. The next day, I was up and they beat my ass again. She sitting watch the TV. It's like, fuck you, CSC. And then my mother, she was real strict. So she was real crazy about me going to jail. She ain't like that shit. They ain't nobody put no money on nothing. What was that with your little boy? So from? I was, I, I wasn't, I wasn't, I was with my baby father, but she was a girl. Isabella. So it was just like, whatever. <laughs> I was with my baby father when I got locked up. And he was a fucking, that nigga he, was. He ain't robbed a bit with you? No, nah, yo. East Baltimore nigga, no, nah, yo. Damn. He didn't. So. That, that was that. Then ain't nobody put money. So I started stealing from the other bitches and shit. Oh, they caught you. You stealing what? the jail? Ain't nobody even catch me. Somebody told it's somebody. I did it. Or, what, what did you st- Hold up. What, what did you steal? A Snickers and a pack of noodles. And was it worth that ass whooping you got? Yeah, because I ain't have a pack of noodles in like three months. So, yeah. You mean to tell me you left you stranded in. like that? You was in there doing hard time. Yeah. Ain't nobody sent me no money. My grandmother put money on my shit when I was like, when I... Was in that bitch for like after like the fourth month, but you know I ain't had shit, no slim gems. I buy on, on you was fucked. Like you was a, you TV, was a fucked up person when you went in there, though, wasn't you? Yeah, you was a fucked up person. Yeah. You get left for dead like that. Cause you get left for dead like that, you mm-hmm. was fucked up. You, you had you had you had them. You God had no. to get you right. You had you needed some soul searching. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I mean, you you had them ass whoopings came from God. You needed them most definitely. Yeah, all you three needed of them. them. You need them three ass whoopings because it was to, cool. Because God knew two ass whoopings wasn't enough. Yeah, I he just hated how Mexicans I always had to life. get jumped. You know what? God put the Mexicans in your life. You know? Yeah, fuck you say. But I just hate how they always had to jump me like. Bitch, let me fight one of y'all bitches one on one. Niggas like, we don't do fair that. Fights with Mexicans. Like, right. We talk about that. Yeah. So you return the citizen, man. You, yeah, we understand. We got something like. Yeah, yo. She came back from the joint. Then mm-hmm. that was stories from the cell. <laughs> stories from the cell. <laughs> that was part two. She, when, you know, <laughs> when the Mexicans whipped Jess ass about a Jess slim gym and some noodles. No, she stole a sticker and a pack of noodles. Yeah, yo. She and they knew I shit. did it because all of them in there was closed. And they look, like the, the only Mexicans one who was, was left like, to steal it was like the new bitch. Cell phones. Mm. Have a Snickers. <laughs> Nigga, what the fuck ever. <laughs> Whatever. That's crazy, man. Fuck that shit, though. I made it. I'm good. <laughs> hey, Jess. What? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, they I'm about silly as shit. They socked the shit out you about a Snickers. That was funny, Nigga, though. I'm what? sorry. I know they has be looking now like, damn, that's the same bitch I beat up. She famous. <laughs> that's the hey, yeah. hey come here look yeah. at the TV that bitch that's stole, girl. yeah yeah you're like no that, <laughs> you said that's sneaker girl that's the same <laughs> sneaker girl that's the same girl Isabella choked out yeah real shit look she's fucking famous Isabella yep. you fucking choked her out ass whoopings work Tom yep. ass yep. whoopings change your life yeah. hey Jess we appreciate you for pulling up on us man mm-hmm. you know you was one of our favorites that we wanted to get on the show get, I love it we had Thank to get you. you you know we we discriminate we don't, we don't want that's everybody good. I don't drink beer. I want everybody to know that. Oh, you don't, you don't I don't 40s. like We had a 40 niggas. off upstairs. I do, I do, I had a 40 off. I do not you. like broke niggas. We had a 40 off upstairs. No. Now, I know you don't like She like niggas, niggas. That, that got guns and, and got tattoos and wave caps. Yes, I do. And wear two, and rock two picks for no reason. And I, uh, No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I also have a fitness brand, uh, Dr. Who. Yeah. That is my shit. That's Dr. my shit. Who. Uh, yes, because listen, the, na- the name fucking came from everybody wanting to know who did my fucking work, you know, yeah. on my body and shit because it's so natural and shit. It's nice. It don't look like I got any thing done is just that y'all know because i used to look like gilly so it was like now y'all know because the shit popping out here and there so i got two piece doctor who sets i got short sets long long sleeves pants you can work out in workout gear mm. uh unisex waist trainers the back braces for the men i got the slimmers um she killing the, yeah all of that shit she yeah plug. make sure you send wallow a waist trainer <laughs> Fuck, I need waist. Why the fuck? That's, that's like <laughs> Fuck is a back. He don't need a back break. Yo. Like, oh, he's back before going out of me. And then Friday, I'm dropping my K9 Clothier line. It's a messy pause line. I got a French bulldog, mm-hmm. and I um 
And that's my little nigga. I got his a name, too. Yeah, his name is Bane. So you got to make sure you get some Messy Paws uh, merchandise. It's I got clothes, my, my, chains, my, my cages. Dog name I saw a bunch of you wanna, that's, You got a boy? I, I do have a boy. Nigga, you know. Oh, she yeah, million is a girl. Yes. What color is she? A beautiful. What color? Spotted hyena, like trash. All right, Damn, so I like then that, I got. I like that. Yeah, I she said a, he's a mutt. That's a mutt. <laughs> she said trash. She hated. it. Yeah. She just hated and then not <laughs> not to forget the carefully reckless podcast every Wednesday. Please check out. Yes, please, please. And, uh, her song, nice. Just no, type in nice. Y'all don't gotta. No, your song, you're a rapper. No, I'm not a rapper. I appreciate it. So look, before, like book before we get out of here, did y'all like the song? Truthfully, truthfully, no, I, tell I, like me. Song. I think it will pop in the club, and I think you're gonna get booked after somebody hear that song and see it. Somebody's gonna book you specifically to do that song. That's because you they know you. Because they know your rap career, your rap Roll career out. don't want as much as your comedian career. So, so they like, how they, book you. they like, we can get Jesse here for four thousand off not, the song yeah. for five thousand. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, wow. they, they go, we booking you as a rapper, not as a comedian. We ain't got to say no jokes up. on stage. That is fucked up. That's how they do you. Okay. Just come do your single. All right, I'm gonna do my first show in Philly. Well, fuck it, we gonna book you. Fuck it. Get in the joint. Get in the joint. Get in the joint. Get in the Think you can do a little six minutes worth of it. How much, you want, how much you want for six minutes? Cash money, come on. What the fuck? <laughs> I hate y'all, but I love y'all the hey, same hey, time. Hey, book on a single joint. Then yeah. get in here. How much you want for we six minutes? We just need you to do one song. Y'all ain't three shit. minutes. We just need you to do like eight jokes. Key. How much you need on some hood <laughs> shit? That's how Philly shit. promoters is. They mm. book you for the song to get you in. Since you here, how much you want for six <laughs> minutes worth of jokes? <laughs> she didn't see the flyer. The flyer was only on Philly. The flyer was on internet when it was right. a comedy show. Right. That was just a hand to hand joint. Right. Hey, y'all. She didn't see that joint. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, talking about your single performance. They got to add the Met. It's motherfucking 4,000 people that she talking about. She looking out talking about my they fucking single pop. <laughs> hey, yo, yo, yo. Up. She, 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 she did for a stand-up. She, 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 she did That's for a fucking up. single and a fucking stand-up. She That's don't even know. She like, nice like this. She like, why all these people sitting there? She can feel yeah. she like. Just cheers. All these people came out for this <laughs> one song. <laughs> oh, I'm popping. I'm ain't going to it. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. She crazy. <laughs> hey, we love Jess. And we the fuck out of here because she's the best. Right. Yeah.